Alrighty, folks. Welcome to the living room panners, house of the panning in the living room. And here I am, folks. I am in my living room, and I am set up, and I'm fixing to run some dirt. So let's get dirty, folks. All right, it's that time. I've got some uh, concentrates here. These are a mixture of some stuff that has gone through once before and some stuff that has never gone through before. So we're going to run this material and do a cleanup and see what we get out of it. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to start passing material and I hope y'all enjoy this video. All right, YouTube is in no way uh, sponsored, affiliated, or endorsing anything I do here. It's just me, so I hope y'all enjoy this little video. And uh, if you do, hit the like button. I appreciate that. So here we go with scoop number one. My little mini sluice on how to pan in your living room, I guess. So there we go. We're going to let it do its magic. It's going to take a bit for all this to go through. And we'll get back to you guys here in a bit. All right, stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm back, and we're about a quarter of a way through this here pan, and uh, starting to see quite a bit of gold plates in there. So it's looking pretty good so far. We're going to keep going and keep panning and keep sluicing here. Mini sluicing, micro sluicing in your living room. This is what you do, folks. Very easy, very simple, and a lot of fun. So y'all stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, folks. We're going to do a little bit of a quick cleanup. This pan is, uh, this sluice is getting, I'm seeing a lot of gold all the way from the top down to about mid-range. So I'm going to increase the speed a little bit of the water flow and clean it out just a bit. Wash out some of this down here. And we're going to clean this out into my uh, my panning pan. And then we're going to keep going and just keep doing this until we use up all this dirt. I'm probably about a third of the way through what I've got in my, my pan here. So still got a ways to go, but I like to flush out my little mini sluice every now and again because I know I lose a little bit of gold. I could see it working its way down, even running it as slow as I run it. So we're going to turn this off. I've got a little check valve up here at the top. Two of them actually. And I'm going to close this off. And it'll stop the water flow. I just unscrew it right here. Real quick like. And then on the side of my five gallon bucket right here, I've got this hole that it overflows and goes down into my secondary catch pan. Let's see if I can get that for you guys. You see that? That hole where I stuck the hose through? Right here. So the overflow goes into my catch pan on the bottom and my recycling pump is down there. So I just stick my hose in there for now. I grab me a pan. Here's my go-to pan, and I'll set this pan up. Let's see how I can do this with you guys watching. Hmm. This ought to be a challenge. Let me see what I can do, folks. I'm going to set this down inside right there, just like that. And then I'm going to take my my little micro sluice and just start washing it out I'm holding it on a sharp angle and everything is flowing right into my little pan down in there just gonna flush it all in there and get it all washed out all the gold and everything going into my little panning pan in the bottom of my bucket here okay that's pretty clean Alright, and it's ready to go for another round, so I'm going to turn this valve right here off. Stick it back in the hole. Get my sluice out of the way. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this for you guys. Alright. 
right there. All right, move that for a second. And then I'm gonna grab this pan very carefully. And drain out the water and work them concentrates over to the edge here for a second. And this is just gonna set here. I'm gonna move it out of the way and uh, we'll, we'll go through all this concentrates later. So I'm gonna reset up again. I've got this set right here and this little foam thing I've learned that this table or my floor or whatever I got to put a little piece of shim in there to make it just right level then I reconnect my water on the end pretty simple tighten it down good and tight so we don't drip not one drop okay and then open it back up and there we go we're flowing again so it's time to run some more dirt Got a clean little tray, regulate my water real nice to where I like it, and uh, let's run some more. All right, here comes another scoop. Saw quite a bit of gold in that first third or quarter or however much. You just got to adjust your flow here, folks, to, you'll learn. Like I said, you don't ever throw nothing away. Everything going in this bucket. It's going to get gone through at least once or twice again, you know. I don't ever throw anything out. I did many years ago. It's out in the rose bushes. One of these days I might dig all that stuff up and go through it. There might be some flower gold in there or something. Got to get this set just right. Alright, let's see how that looks. All right, one more scoop and then we'll pause it. And I'll come back to you guys in just a minute. All right, that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, I hope the video's turning out good for y'all. I hope y'all are seeing everything all right. There's my bucket and my catch bucket. My little recycling, recirculating pump, sorry. Now let me get this set back up again where we can maybe see some of that shiny stuff in there. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, we are getting it on down. We're almost done with this here scoop, scoop full of uh, pannings here. So we got one scoop after another going, but we're almost there. So won't be long now. We'll be doing a final cleanup. I'll wash out my my little mini sluice one more time and uh, see what we clean up. So y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, folks, I'm back again, and this time we're down to the last little bit. So I'd like to share this with y'all. I'm going to add it in there, maybe a little at a time, and I'm seeing a lot of loaded ripples. All my little ripples are all loaded with heavies and gold, uh, a lot of gold in here. So we're going to do a cleanup in just a second, and I'll help this out a little bit probably should only be passing a spoonful at a time but I like to pass it a little bit quick because I know I'm going to go through it again so uh, anyways I just wanted to share that with y'all this is the last little bit and once I get it all dumped in there I'll kick the speed up a little bit on my water flow and it'll kind of flush it out but I am going to be watching very close to see if any of the gold flakes that I know are in there are going to stay or move. If they start to move, I'll back off the speed a little bit. So it's just a way to kind of flush out your your uh, sluice box a little bit. So let's get all of this in there. There it is, folks. It's all in there now. And I'll be back. I'm going to get it set up. And we're going to wash this sluice, little mini sluice out. And get it all in my uh, catch basin and my paint tray. And I'm going to be back in just a second. All right. 